welcome to Little Learners. In today's video, we are going to be making oobleck. Oobleck is a fictional substance that was first mentioned in Dr. Zeus's book, Bartholomew and the Oobleck. It's a great sensory activity for young children and for older children. It's a wonderful starting point for discussing liquids and solids. So for this recipe, you will need a mixing bowl, some corn flour, I've got it here in my little dish so that I know exactly what quantity I'm using, and in this dish I've got just some regular tap water, and it's very important that you always have two parts corn flour to one part water, so always use half the amount of water as you are corn flour. In the story, oobleck is green, but for this video I'm going to make my first oobleck blue with some food colouring. And I'm also going to add glitter, of course, because for me that is always a necessity. Okay, so first of all you're just going to need to dump all of your corn flour into your mixing bowl. Next you're going to want to colour your water. So try not to be like me and pick up a food colouring that is leaking and stain your hands. You just need a couple of drops in your water. It's probably a good idea to take off any jewellery that you don't want to ruin, such as my engagement ring. Just give that a little stir so that the food colouring completely mixes in with the water. and put the water to one side. Next, this is your opportunity to put anything else that you want to put in with your corn flour. So I'm going to add some glitter and the sprinkling wasn't really working for me so I'm just going to pour a load in. I'm using silver glitter because I think that will show up really nicely with the blue and I'm also using a little bit of green. Now take your water and add a little bit at a time. Stir it in and once you have you can start adding more. The reason for this is that usually the two parts corn flour to one part water works just fine, but you want to be absolutely sure that you're not going to add too much water. When you're mixing the oobleck, it should be quite difficult to mix, it should be making quite a hard lumpy consistency, but when you tip the bowl it looks like liquid. I'm going to add a little bit more glitter, because apparently the glitter I added was not enough. There is never enough glitter in my life. So this is what it looks like in the bowl when you're done. You can test it by touching it with your finger. When I do that, it is completely solid. But if I push my finger slowly in it, I can poke through it like a liquid. So here you can see that I am squeezing my oobleck into a solid ball. But if I release my hand and just let it settle, it turns back into this thick liquid. And that is the magic of oobleck. It's a super easy recipe with minimal ingredients and it takes no time at all and it is so effective. But you don't have to stop there. Here I'm making a pink oobleck with glitter and water beads. I wanted to see what would happen if I added water beads to my mixture and I loved the result. So the oobleck works just like the blue one did, but you can see the little hidden water beads inside. The thing that I really liked about this was that you can kind of squeeze the water beads out and then just fold them back into the mixture again. It's a great fine motor activity and actually it was just quite fun. I also tried this kind of galaxy oobleck with glitter, black food dye and some sequins. What I really liked about the sequins was that when you looked at the oobleck you couldn't really see all of them until you started playing around with it and then you found these secret sequins, almost like secret stars in the galaxy. 
So that is how you can make different kinds of oobleck. Never be afraid to get creative and to try something a little bit different. If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you gave this recipe a try, please do let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And once you're subscribed, you can also click on the bell icon so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.